What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shantia, and I'm back with another banger, another word, okay? Now, listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, but before we get into the word, I just want to remind everybody that those that have not yet joined my Unleash That Woman community, make sure that you join today while the flash sale of $24.99 is still going on. If you have been praying to God for new friendships, to get around like-minded people, okay, or for God to just place you in a new circle, in a new environment, listen child unleash that woman community is for you and the community is growing rapidly so make sure that you get in okay and so listen y'all the title of this video is you are yes you are a natural born leader you are a natural born leader. And so I want somebody, okay, if you come across this video to type in the comments to declare and decree that I am a born leader, okay? I am a born leader. That means that the second that you were born into this world, God had already put you in the posture, in the place, okay, where you will continuously win. And even though some seasons may feel like that you didn't, you're not winning, some season may feel like you going backwards, some season may feel like you being set back or set up or whatever the case is, I just want to say that right now, God is saying you are a born winner. A winner is something somebody who is a champion a winner is somebody who is a conqueror and so even though you might have had moments okay or certain experiences where you felt like you were losing right now God is saying you were already winning you had already won the battle at the simple fact that you changed your mindset you already won the battle when you decided to overcome this thing you already won the battle when you let go of the addiction you already won the battle when you moved yourself up out of that place or that relationship or out of that circumstance God said you already won the battle when you were able to see that the thing that you were once in was is no longer serving who God is calling you to be. God said that's when you won. When the veil comes off your eyes is when you win because the enemy is always trying to stop us, stop us from seeing the fullness of who God called us to be. But the minute that you are able to see yourself completely and to see certain people and things and experiences and circumstances that do not fit who God is calling you to be is the second that you win. Because now you have the mindset and you have the ability to change, okay, the outcome. You have the ability to change your mindset, to continue moving forward and to push past this thing that is trying to tear you down, that is trying to tear you apart. And so this is a word for somebody and a reminder to somebody that you are a natural born winner. And one of my favorite quotes that I love to live by, and I also told my community this for the, the theme, the quote of the year for 2024, is that we don't stop when we're tired, we stop when we're finished. You don't stop when you're tired, you stop when you're finished. Because during your journey, you're gonna get tired. You're gonna wanna quit. But we're not stopping when we're tired. We're stopping when the assignment is complete. We're stopping when we are finished with the project. We're stopping when we are finished, okay, with the task that is at hand in front of us. And so this is a word for somebody that God is saying that you already have the ingredients of a winner. You already have the DNA of a winner. There is nothing else that you need in order for you to win, you have everything that you need in order to win in this season. And speaking of in this season, um, the Holy Spirit also brought to my mind that when God says the second, the first time that God tells you that this is your season, that this is your winning season, that it's your time, he just wants you to understand and to know that a season is not just something that is going to take place for a year or for a couple months when god says it's your winning season when god says it is your time child that means that you will win and you will reign your entire life your entire life it's not a season it's not just for a year a season is a lifetime when god says you will win in this season or you're a winner in this season that means that god has put you in a place god has brought you into another realm where you will constantly experience consecutive wins back to back to back to back okay it kind of was like david as soon as david was able to um 
you know, like fight Goliath, okay? In that moment, it wasn't even about Goliath. It was about David becoming and seeing the full version of who God called him to be in that moment to know who he is through God, to know that he has the ability to overcome any giant that might come his way. And from that moment on, from that one moment when he fought Goliath, David experienced consecutive wins his entire life his entire life. And so that's for somebody to get out the mindset of thinking that God is just going to raise you up and you're only going to impact people for a season. And then you're going to go back to living the life that you lived before or go back to being in the same experiences that you had before. No, no, no. If God said that you will impact millions, you will impact millions to the day that you die. If God said that your song will be the number one on the charts, your song will be the number one on the charts to the day that you die. Whatever it is that God told you, that is specifically unique to you. Don't ever think that God will raise you up to this position where you will have this blessed life and have everything that you want, everything that you need, and you are continuously faithful and being obedient and seeking God. Don't ever think that God will raise you up to that place just to take you back down. God wants to raise you up so that you will experience a lifetime and that the generations after you will be born into a family that is blessed, into a family that is exceptionally favored, into a family that is a winning family, okay? God wants to set you up for a lifetime, not just for a year, not just for six months. And the only person that can stop that is you, is you is you not believing what God is telling you, which is the simple fact that you are a natural born winner. And so all this week, every single day moving forward, I just want you to remind yourself that I am a natural born winner. I am a natural born winner. I am a natural born winner. There is nothing that you cannot do. There is nothing that you cannot do. If you have Jesus, if you have Christ on your side, there is nothing that you cannot do in this lifetime, okay? And so listen, y'all, I pray that you are able to receive this blessed and prosperous word. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share it out to 10 of your family and your friends, okay? 10 of your family members and your friends. I love you all, and I will see you all next time. Bye.